All right, guys, so we're going to record our first ever run here. We're going to go for a long run, or relatively long run. First run, going to attempt our first run over 60 minutes in two years using this action camera for the first time. And you can see it's already cracked because I dropped it because I didn't understand how this harness works. So that's great. And I don't have the protection plan, but it still works. Going to be shooting in 1080p, 60fps, and just see how the battery life is that is with that and the SD card storage, micro SD card. But anyway, you have to like. To get it to not slip off, you have to click it in place here. Um, I just did it right before this, right before I started recording. There we go. So now it should be steady in place. Like I said, we're going to be shooting at 1080p, 60fps, and just see how that works out. Not using any microphone other than the one that is built into the camera, so the audio is not going to be the best. And I'm going to be timing with my stopwatch. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's currently Saturday, May 7th, 3.37 p.m. Uh, we're leaving the house now. Going to run for at least 60 minutes. It's partly cloudy really mostly cloudy but the sun just came out from behind the clouds if we're if the legs are feeling good i already stretched and everything like that um hip flexors are feeling loose everything's feeling good if we're feeling good i'll run maybe i'll run for 70 minutes or or something more than 60 minutes but the goal is just to run at least 60 minutes yesterday i ran 55 minutes and i haven't run 60 minutes continuously in about two years like i said um, we're getting back into running to maybe train for train for some races here in the summer in the fall and just see how what our fitness is like and what we can do if, you know might get back into competitive running um consistently so yep i don't know if you can see i don't know what the camera angle is like it might be a little bit too high to be honest but for today's run we're just going to keep it like this so i'm already recording here that red blinking led indicator light i'm pretty sure means that the recording is working so yep stopwatch at zero saturday may 7 339 i'm gonna try to put the stopwatch in the camera and then start it and that's how we'll time at least 60 minutes we'll just go from there so yeah and there you go, you heard the sound of the stopwatch start. Now, hopefully, the camera stays attached to the vest the entire time. Well, the chest mount harness, whatever you want to call it. It is a bit windy. Temperature feels really nice. Now, we're probably going to be running about seven minutes per mile for the duration of this run. Now I'm used to running alone, so I don't really talk much during my run, so don't expect too much talking. As you can hear, I'm already out of breath. But yeah, probably gonna be running around seven minutes per mile pace. For 60 minutes, ideally. 60 minutes or more. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but just one minute into the run now. Leaving the neighborhood. Now, I was going to do a simple out and back, meaning we run 30 minutes out on one path and then come straight back in, you know, about 30 minutes. If I come back faster, I just add on some time, but you know, to prove that we're running at 
a certain pace, I'm actually gonna run through the track and run on the track for a mile at least, just so you can uh, get a feel of our pace exactly because I'm not using a GPS watch right now. So in terms of pacing, we're just going off feel in my experience. Yeah, we're going uphill right now. Maybe on the track I'll do a little, throw in a little continuous workout, like speedier workout or like a tempo type workout mid long run because I really want to test the, uh, the stability of this harness of the mount because the mount has to be really stable even at high speeds. in case I want to record like a track workout because the idea I had is you know it's three it's after 3 30 p.m right now on the east coast and I was hoping to run a lot sooner a lot earlier than this but the run got delayed because I uh oh shoot I should have actually gone the other way to add on some Shoot. I'm gonna turn around now, cross the street. Don't do that at home, kids. Jaywalking is illegal. Anyway, uh, what I was saying is, I had the idea of, if I don't have somebody to help me film a track workout, or like a track time trial, like we did in those 400s, Cause I don't know, as soon as I get my new spikes, track spikes, which I got to order online soon, I feel like I, I'm already in shape to run maybe sub 56 for 400. And I want to record that. And if I don't have somebody to help me, what I can do is I can, uh, I can use my phone and this camera and I could record two POVs at the same time. So I could use this chest mount harness that I'm using right now with this little action camera attached to it, right? And then on top of that, and I could just run around the track with that recording a 400, 800, any distance I wanted. As long as, you know, the storage on the micro SD card isn't full. And as long as the battery for the camera, as long as there's still battery. Right now, when we started this run, the battery life was about at about 58%. I didn't bother charging it to full because when I got it out the package, the battery was like completely dead and it takes like 90 minutes to full charge. But I don't know, it seemed like it was charging slower than that. But maybe it's because I had Wi-Fi enabled and Bluetooth connected to my phone and the, the app for the camera. Maybe that's why. Anyway, hopefully that battery will be enough to get us through at least 60 minutes. And then when I get back home, I could record a little bit more if the battery's not dead. Could record a, you know, maybe a little, just a very brief workout in, uh, in the in-home gym in my garage or could uh maybe record like part or all of my post-workout stretching routine which is very extensive um maybe a quick phys physique check in the bathroom uh, yeah maybe the dogs could record them First, we're just going to see if we have enough battery to get through this run for an hour. 
at 1080p 60 fps but yeah in regards to track workouts what i could do is i have a gorilla pod mount for my phone the same one i use for streaming for uh mounting my lot one of my logitech cameras for streaming i could use one of the extra mounts i have like that uh it's a flexible portable gorilla pod mount like i think the company's called joby or whatever and i could use that mount along with the piece i have to fit my smartphone and then i could use my iphone 11 camera uh to keep it on a fixed position at the finish and start line. That way, I re could record my POV and I re could record a third person POV at the start and finish line. That way, you know, we could get a really, really accurate time down to the milliseconds. Since on the phone, We'd be shooting at 60 frames per second and have an angle to capture as soon as I cross the start and finish line, just like we did in the previous 400 videos. So yeah. Anyway, also running in brand new shoes. Just got these shoes yesterday at Dick's Sporting Goods. Brand new, size 10 men's. Fortunately in that size, I was able to find, you know, have my uh, choice when it came to the colors. So that's nice. So I got like the all white with a little bit of gray gradient shading there. And they're really nice. They feel good feel real good real comfortable my feet and legs don't feel tired at all right now it's perfect and I ran 55 minutes yesterday at about the same time a little bit later actually so less than 24 hours turning around and running again and my legs feel good with these shoes that's a really good sign if you're wanting to buy them for yourself, they were $119.99 plus tax. Got them at Dick's, but you could find them just about anywhere. I got them in store so I could get them that day. Didn't have to wait for shipping. And I was able to try them on and test them out. But they're available online like anywhere. They're called the Nike, I'm pretty sure Air Zoom. Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 38. And when I get back home, I can show you my old shoes, which are like also Pegasus, but a way older model. And they're very worn out. Very worn out. Going uphill here. We're almost at the high school, which is only like three quarters of a mile from my house. And they have a track here, which is really nice. So to get to that entrance from my house, and the fastest route is like three fourths of a mile. But taking the fastest route from my house directly to the track is about a full mile, if not a little bit more. So we're almost there right now. Now granted, 
we've run more than a mile already because we took that little detour into that neighborhood. So I see some people already working out on the field. <clears throat> Good news is the camera stayed attached the whole time. So that's good. <clears throat> Once I get back, I'm gonna see if I can still purchase the uh, protection plan for this camera. Because I already dropped it that one time when I didn't have the mount securely fastened like I thought I did. Now, sometimes I like to run around the track right, and turning right instead of left, not for workouts, but just to keep, uh, keep my body, hopefully prevent injury, keep my body in balance, on the left and right side. So, recording. A little kid was asking who I'm talking to. So we'll just keep tabs on. So here we're coming in 13 minutes, 21 seconds. And I split the watch. So we can see, you know, get a good idea of what we're running approximately per mile. Four laps around the track is almost a mile. 400 meters times four, 1600 meters and a full mile, which is, you know, not the metric system, is actually 1,609 meters. So, whatever you run for four laps, we just add on about six, maybe six or eight seconds to that. That'll give us an accurate mile split. Oh, excuse me being out of breath. I'm used to not talking throughout my runs at all. Good news is the camera feels secure. The only time it fell was when I didn't have the mount uh, securely fastened properly. So, hopefully it shouldn't fall again, even at, you know, faster pace. But if it does, I'm gonna try to get that protection plan sometime this weekend, because I only activated the camera with the mobile app today. And the app notified me that I should be able to purchase the protection plan, which is only $30, I think, or $30 annually, I don't know. But, and it would protect it against any sort of damage from fall, a fall or water damage, anything like that. And I should be able to claim that, purchase that protection plan within 30 days of me activating the product. So I'm going to try to get that done this weekend, just in case it ever does malfunction or I fall. <laughs> Little kid is so curious, that's what we're doing. Hilarious. Now I'll see what the camera angle looks like after this. When I play back the video and probably download it as long as everything's working fine. And if the angle is really bad, 
I can always purchase. All right, so that was three minutes, 26 seconds through 800 meters. So just like I thought, about seven minutes per mile, just under that. As you know, I'm a godly pacer like that. But yeah, there's another uh, harness that you can like attach around your head, like a, not a helmet, but it's a harness that you can, uh, you can like buckle it around your head the same way I have this buckled around my chest. And I may purchase that because this chest harness is only like $30. And I think the one for the head is actually cheaper. I just don't know if the camera would be more stable with motion or less stable, probably less. Just depends on how steady I keep my head, I guess. But the chest is more centered in my body, so. I'd imagine motion is more smooth with it on the chest. But who knows? The harness for the head may be more comfortable too. If it's cheap, like 15 or $20, I could buy it and test it out. Especially if the camera angle here isn't very good. All right, so after this lap, we'll get our 1600 meter split and we'll head on out of here. Keep running our loop. What's up, boss? Got people practicing football here. Oh man, today's weather is so great. I wish I had those spikes that I want, but they aren't in stock at Dick's Sporting Goods right now. So I have to order them online. Hopefully the size is correct or I'll have to return them. So about six minutes, 54 seconds through 1600 meters. As soon as I get those spikes, as long as my legs are feeling flexible, mobile, and well rested, just talking, then uh, then I'm ready to run another 400 in the new spikes. Now, since this will be such a long video, probably not gonna use editing software for anything to waste less time in rendering. 
probably just upload the raw footage directly to YouTube as soon as I download it to my computer. Oh man, and sentence is closed. Now remember, because of the way YouTube's compression works, the quality in 1080p60 is not gonna look nearly as good as it does, you know, uncompressed, but that's just what we gotta do. Because right now I'm recording this video in 1080p60 without any of the bells and whistles. If I was to add those on or increase the frame rate of resolution, the battery life would die so quickly on the camera. And the file size would probably be enormous. Now I haven't eaten anything all day and it's 4 p.m. I'm probably very dehydrated. So don't want to cramp up here in my stomach. Gotta keep the breathing controlled as best I can. Down here, this is the local middle school. Just taking a little detour here. It's very windy, very cloudy. Great running conditions. Not too hot. Definitely not too cold. My guess is it's probably about 70 degrees. Maybe more. But with the wind and the clouds, it feels cooler.
dead possum right there. Saw that the last few days. Reek. Gonna add on some more distance in this neighborhood. Just another quick loop. Pretty much the same route I ran yesterday. We're just gonna modify it. So that way we can get over 60 minutes. This is a nice neighborhood. As you can see, very cloudy. Nice downhill. Gives us a little break on the effort. Almost halfway through on our way to 60 minutes. All right, officially 30 minutes in.
Drop a comment below if you guys want to see biking videos. I do own a bike, but it is technically a mountain bike, not a street bike. Different tires. It's a 24 speed bike, I think. We have to check that the tires have some air in them though. We could bike over to Stone Mountain Park and bike around a loop around there and then bike back home. Turn that into a video. Add on here.
gonna do another add on through circle here. Top of the left foot's starting to hurt. Gotta be careful not to get injured. I'm gonna do some thorough stretching after this, even more than I did before the run.